are back with more of my Southern Home and I'm here with Jennifer Tannenpool and Jennifer Robertson with Stockton Mortgage. And I'm so happy to have you guys on the show, especially you, Jennifer, because you are an underwriter. So I feel like we're kind of revealing the man behind the mask when it comes to loan originating. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for having us. We're really excited yes, to be you. here and we're ready to reveal the secrets. So Jeff and Jennifer, you guys work very closely together when you're closing a loan. So Jeff, tell us a little bit about what that process is. Sure. So the borrower starts the process with a pre-approval and then they go find a house, they come back to us, and then we begin the journey of taking that pre-approval all the way to funding stage. So, you know, there's a lot of things we have to get from the borrower up front as far as their pay and income and assets, and then we have to evaluate the home. So we do that through an appraisal and a title commitment, and then we put all this puzzle together, and then we give it to Jennifer. And it's up to Jennifer to make sure that they meet all the guidelines and compliance and everything else to, to make a funded loan. So, you know, her position is probably one of the most important in the process because she's the final stop between that borrower getting the home or maybe not getting the home. Well, and Jennifer, you are the most important link in that process, just like Jeff says, because you always say, we got to get it through underwriting. Yeah. You know, that's the one phrase that you hear all the time. So you as an underwriter, what is your job in that process? Okay, uh, my job is to verify, validate income, the assets, to make sure that the borrower is gonna qualify for the loan. So in the 20 years that you've been doing this, what are some of the things that you've seen that every time you see it, you know, kills the loan? Okay, so one thing that would absolutely kill a loan is if a borrower applied for additional credit, which might put them over a debt to income ratio. Yeah, so I'd say in layman's terms, we tell borrowers, don't buy a car, don't finance furniture, don't do anything that changes your credit profile. And, you know, unfortunately people, they don't follow the rules sometimes. And so they go and take on credit cards or they'll buy a house for a furniture, or they'll buy the car to match the house. And, you know, Jennifer has to address that. And that's a, it's usually a killer because it's a debt they have to pay for. It might be assets they're gonna have to use. And it's just not a, it's not a wise move to make in the process because inevitably um, it leads to, they don't get to close on their home. Well, and a lot of people blame the underwriter on things, but you're not the big bad wolf. You want that. Absolutely not. Yeah, you want that loan closed just as much as everybody else. Yes, we like to take a collaborative approach and work with the loan officer or the processor to try and get the loan closed as soon as possible and with its least documentation and stress for the borrower. Yeah, wait, I hope you heard that because, you know, the industry has this... Uh, perception that underwriting are these really mean people that dream in black and white or rip the wings off butterflies, right? And they get a bad rap because, you know, Jennifer wants to close the loan just as much as the, as the loan officer does in the processor. It's just her obligation is to make sure that that loan qualifies. And unfortunately, sometimes she's the bad guy because she points out, hey, this isn't going to work in this scenario. And, and unfortunately, the salespeople, it's an easy blame because you, get, you don't get to talk to her. You know, ultimately you say, well, that big bad underwriter said you got to do this, right? Well, one of the things that I think it's so important for homeowners to realize is that if you're working with someone that's dedicated to their job, that has the years and vast knowledge in the industry that you have, Jeff, you know, you're not going to have those pitfalls because if they listen to their loan officer and they take their advice, then that loan is going to go through. Absolutely. You know, I, I say that people don't do things for three reasons, right? They don't know how, um, they don't want to, or they're incapable. And in the case of even borrowers, sometimes it's just about educating them and say, hey, don't go do this. But there are oftentimes, there are, in, in rare cases, there's those other people that fall into the other two categories. And really, you can't help them as an originator or an underwriter. And unfortunately, the deal doesn't close. But a lot of times, it's, it's their choice with the actions that they took that caused the deal to happen and go in a bad way. And, and it's not always avoidable. As much as you coach and teach people, sometimes people do the opposite. But fortunately for us at Stockton Mortgage, we have what's called a pull-through ratio of over 90%, which means that over 90% of our pre-approvals actually close. And that's better than the national average of 75. So we feel like we're doing mm -hmm. things tight well. You know, the company's been around for 20 years this year. David Stockton's a fantastic leader, and he's, he's put together a great ship for us to work for. Absolutely. 
I love the fact that you guys are local and that you guys are friends and you communicate with each other all the time because lots of times you hear about a lone underwriter being in another state and you guys work together so closely. Absolutely. And I think Jennifer is the first person that I met at Stockton, the first uh, underwriter, and she came to the office um, when we were opening the new one in Louisville, and she worked out of our office for a couple of days, introduced herself. COVID has caused a, um, a, a disruption or a shift in the business, so a lot of people work from home now, so there's not a real uh, one office space where everybody's located, but the thing about Jennifer and the underwriters at Stockton, they're all accessible, and as long as you can get someone on the phone or talk to them in person, it makes a difference because you can sort out issues that you're having in a loan file and you don't have to wait for a time zone change or someone who's, you know, you can't ever get a hold of. So it's, it, it does make a difference that we're local. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, I'm just so happy to have this type of information on the show. Thank you. Thank you, it was a pleasure. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.